Hey everyone, it's Michael Dugal with Remax Premier and I appreciate you tuning in to watch this short message. And during today's video, we are going to talk about the top five upgrades to improving the value of your home. I love this topic because it's not only a relevant topic for home sellers, but as well just homeowners because who does not want to raise the value of your home? Or even if you're somebody that could be refinancing, this video will definitely have a lot of information that you'll find helpful. So we're going to talk about updates that will fit your budget. We're not going to talk about $50,000 gut jobs and the stuff you see on TV, but just realistic improvements you can make. Some of them may even be as cheap as a few hundred dollars. Now, the first upgrade that I'll talk about is repainting your home. Home, and this is one of the greatest return on investments that you can make. You never want a prospective buyer to remember your house based on its colors. And we see very bold colors. We see red, green, and people dislike it and they almost, it just, it turns them off the whole house. So the purpose of having nice neutral paint on your property is to open up the space, maybe complement the furniture, and just overall give the buyer a very, very good impression that the home has been well maintained. So if you're unfamiliar with a good color choice, then it's a good idea just to ask a painting consultant or a real estate professional like myself, and we can definitely give you direction. Now, the second update I wanna talk about is the lighting. Now, proper lighting is absolutely essential. I have yet to see a home that does not have enough lighting in it. So you want it to make it look as bright as possible. Now note that it's a very good idea to replace light fixtures if you have anything that looks old. If you have old light fixtures, believe me, it'll drop the value of your home significantly and a lot more than you expect. Especially if you have light fixtures that are in the home that you bought from the builder when you initially bought the property, it's a great idea to replace those. If you have the budget for it, then I say go with pot lights. Pot lights throughout the whole house, they look great. They're definitely in style. And we see these homes that are updated and sell for very high prices. They typically do have pot lights. But if not, if you want to stick to just simple light fixtures or chandeliers, then it's a great idea to just put a very nice chandelier where it's necessary. So these are like the large rooms, like the kitchen or the living room. You can get a nice three to five piece chandelier for maybe $200 or so at like Home Depot or any big store like that. Upgrade number three would be the kitchen. You know what they say? They say kitchen sell homes. They say buyers don't buy on logic, they buy on emotion. You wanna make sure that your kitchen is looking spectacular. So if you have the budget for it, then it's a great idea to go ahead, change all your appliances. So stainless steel appliances are a definite must. And as well, in terms of countertops, we're finding that it doesn't matter whether or not you choose granite or quartz right now. Both of them seem to be in style and that's what's selling well. And as far as cabinets are concerned, uh, cabinets, again, replacing those are a great idea. Now, if you don't have the budget for it, some other tweaks you can make are putting a nice faucet by your sink seems to be a great improvement and as well just even replacing like the door knobs for the cabinets little knobs there as they seem to like uh, have very easy wear and tear upgrade number four would be the floors it is a great idea to invest your money and get some hardwood unfortunately gone are the days when people like carpet um, if I'm with a prospective buyer and I'm showing houses and we see a house that has carpet in it, the buyer automatically thinks, okay, what's the cost going to be, Mike, for us to take out the carpet and replace it with hardwood floors? So by listing your property with carpet in it, you are going to significantly reduce the number of prospective buyers that you have. You're better off spending the money and the buyer will go ahead, they'll pay the price, they'll pay more, and they prefer to just have a house that is done and livable, right? So go ahead with the hardwood, especially on the main floor. Sometimes I see people get away with it if the second floor has carpet in the bedrooms if you're in a two-story home but they still do like the walkway with a nice hardwood if you can't afford hardwood then go ahead with like a high-end laminate and that should still sell well and again just in terms of it the good news is that hardwood is cheaper than it ever has been and the fifth update would be to improve your landscaping. And the great news is that this is one of the more affordable corrections you can make. I would say just start off at the bare minimum, go ahead and mow the lawn, cut the grass, make sure that the landscape looks nice because curb appeal is absolutely essential, right? Um, let's not forget, this is the buyer's first impression. And again, it's their last impression. If a buyer comes across a house where the grass is almost up to their knees, obviously they're gonna think that the house is not well maintained, it's not treated right, and the buyers don't really care. And then they'll begin to thinking, okay, if the buyer isn't maintaining their lawn, I mean, to what extent are they maintaining the actual house, right? So you never want to have your house um, giving that appeal that's kind of like a dead flower, just like a dead house, right? So go ahead, uh, make sure you take care of that, the lawn. Beyond that, you can go as far as if you're living in like a two-story home or a raised bungalow that has stairs, 
it could be a good idea just to buy some plants along the entranceway and investing in a nice rail like a nice railway where you walk up this is also a great idea and it's relatively inexpensive. So I hope all this information was helpful, guys. Um, if you can think of anyone that could use my help with buying or selling or even has questions, I would love to help them. My customers get excellent service. So you can reach me at 416-671-5218. It's Michael Dougal with Remax Premier. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, if you're on YouTube, click like. Click subscribe if you want to see more and go ahead and share this with anyone you may feel could find the information helpful. If you receive this by email, just forward it to them or copy and paste the link on YouTube and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.